Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dustin Grove. We begin with that big news from Purdue today. The search for Morgan Burke's replacement as athletics director is over. President Mitch Daniels introduced Mike Bobinski as the new AD this morning. Sports 18's Rob Hughes was at the introductory press conference and is here now with more. Rob? Hey, Dustin. Yeah, like you said, big morning for Purdue Athletics. Mike Babinski is the new man in charge, and he brings plenty of experience to the table. Babinski is currently the athletics director at Georgia Tech, which will be ending soon, obviously. He's been there since 2013. Previously, he served as AD at Xavier, and before that, Akron. I'm joined now by GoldenBlack.com's Alan Karpik. Alan, there's a lot to be gained from a yeah. press conference of that magnitude, but what are your first impressions of Mike Babinski? First impression, he's likable, and that's yep. an interesting thing. He's a guy that comes across very much as a, a process, or not a process person, a people person. I think that will be a, a, a good thing, and he won the press conference, I think, early on. He comes across very self-assured and a guy that is going to take things as they come and build on them. I like that uh, about him, and I agree with what you're saying. He has a very measured approach, and uh, here's how he says he'll handle the first couple weeks on the job. From a basic perspective, obviously, the first thing is for me has always been to never come in and, and start firing. I mean, you, you've got to understand. I mean, things are the way they are for a reason, and I, and I need to take time to, to absorb that and understand that. Meet people, uh, you know, build, start to build relationships, start to build trust. I mean, that's, that's how you get things done. I mean, I can't come in and start... Uh, you know, pretend to have all the answers without understanding why things are the way they are. So that, that'll be what, what happens first. I think what I gained from that is he's a, he seems like a very humble guy and willing to kind of learn this job as he goes instead of coming out and making changes uh, right away. Yeah, I think so, but I also think he did definitely talk about the elephant in the room, and that, of course, is Purdue football yeah. right now and, and the ability and the need and the need to be competitive. He, he's a very competitive guy. President Mitch Daniels told me after, after the press conference that, hey, this guy maybe seemed like a nice guy, but he's an extremely competitive guy, and you don't want to be around him when Purdue loses. And, and I thought that was an interesting first impression as well. Well, we saw from his resume that he's uh, made several big basketball hires, yeah. Thad Mata among those while he was at Xavier, who's now the Ohio State head coach. What do we know uh, about his football experience, and how can he help this football program? Well, at Georgia Tech, you know, obviously he's a Notre Dame guy, so he knows football. Yeah. He graduated from Notre Dame, but Paul Johnson, obviously, he, he extended him after the Georgia Tech uh, uh, rambling wreck won the Orange Bowl. The North Georgia Tech did not have a good year last year, but he has a guy that has been around, uh, knows winning football. He talked about knowing winning football when he saw it. Uh, that's going to be a key thing for him at, uh, at Purdue. And, and I think his, his time at Georgia Tech, not really long enough to know exactly how much uh, that, that football experience will play out because he was at Xavier before that where they didn't have football. But again, he's a football guy, been also at the Naval Academy and at Akron as well. He's been around a lot of football during his professional career. And obviously Burke's under contract until next uh, summer. What, what, how do we expect that transition to work? They kind of mentioned that a little bit today, but it's obviously still to be determined. You know, bit. I think there's a, there's a respect between uh, Morgan Burke, obviously, in, in, in the athletic department or athletic world, and I think he'll get that. Uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see that, that relationship. You know, Morgan Burke's been talked that he may teach at Cranert, uh, do some teaching, but I think he also will be part of this transition. It's going to take some time for Mike Babinski to get into the role at Purdue, and I think you're going to see that uh, develop over time. Alan, as always, thank you for your time. If you want to watch the full press conference, you can visit our website, WLFI.com. Dustin, we'll send it back to you.